I wanted to bring life back into this Barbie Dream Jeep Power Wheel by turning it into something my older kids can enjoy. Oh, don't forget it doesn't have brakes! And also, something my brother and I can drive around. My plan is to take the axle assembly and Amazon Special Electric Motor from a drift trike I built previously, get some go-kart parts from Amazon, and put it all together with some mediocre welding skills. Turning Barbie's Dream Jeep into my Dream Jeep. First, we gotta take all this apart. Unplug my battery. This is gonna be the pace. Today's video. This is the steering column kit we ordered because we wanted to do this from all from parts from Amazon, but it's too wide. If we did this with my wheelie things, that's gonna put the wheelbase at 37 inches wide and the back wheel base at 27 inches wide. Even though the axle says it's 29, it's 27. So we're gonna cut off a few inches and see if we can tap it. We're gonna cut three and a half inches off, so we're gonna take it down to 30. Committing to the full five inch cut it feels it's like too much. Look at this. We would be like chopping off most of it. And then like, I don't even know if like the thread, the threads would be bumping. Yeah, and there'd be no adjustments. We don't need later. to dock the threads. We're going to do one first and see if it works. Not, we're just going to quit this project entirely. And just throw it straight in the garbage. I'm mumbling again. The other thing is these are like reverse threaded on one end. And we think this is a side that's normal. Cause look, righty tidy, it's coming out. So wrong. This is a side that's normal. Then I measured wrong. Lefty. Lucy. All right, so that's correct. But anyway, the tap, we don't have the reverse tap. I don't really know if this will cut it, but we're gonna try. I'm pretty sure this is just cheap, so it shouldn't be too strong. <laughs> to the lathe. <sighs> Whee! All right, let's put this entire part on the video. Yeah, could have. I missed it. There. Perfect. Easy. That's cool. Is it supposed to wobble like that? The wobble is intended to make up for the one thirty-second of an inch we're off. What were you looking at when you said that? The camera. It didn't look like it. Maybe you then? I don't know. I'm drunk. Look at it just spitting stuff out of that little hole. We got a wide angle establishing shot. A slow fade to the thing over here. And now we tap. You can, in theory, use lathe to do this. I just don't. I'm never nervous that. about that because, like, what if it just goes super fast? Yeah, and it just strips it all up. You'd have to have the lathe somehow, like, pull itself in or something. Well, there's a setting for that, but that would require me to learn. All right, let's see if we succeeded. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> no, it's fine. What? What if we had only done one side shorter, but like significantly shorter, and then the steering wheel could be slightly offset? Oh, that's true. We and want the, the steering center. wheel in the center because this is only gonna be a one person vehicle. Oh, okay. More fat asses. Yes. We want our fat asses to be able to fit in the Barbie's skinny ass. The Amber Heard mobile. The Barbie of today. We mm -hmm. succeeded. Let's do whatever we just did on this other side. First, where did I put the caliper? Look at that crap. Nice. We did pretty good. So we have the rear support for the rear axle. The thing I chopped off the drift trike. Drift trike. It's a tricycle that you can drift. Everybody knows what a drift trike. If somebody's watching this video, they know what a drift trike is. If not, turn it off. Just kidding. Go buy a CBR. I want to make it as close as possible because we can always extend these longer, but we can't extend these shorter. 31 and a quarter. I don't know if we explained this. We're basically making a go-kart that the power wheel can sit on top of. So I just made this. That goes like this. So look, if you show this angle, this is a negative camber, which is actually okay. The negative camber helps you with turns, but we don't want it too dramatic. So we actually want to reduce the camber a little bit. So what I need to do to like a three or four degrees. is bend this to match that. So this. Instead of measuring anything, <laughs> what will we measure? We're gonna eyeball it. I want to pull this towards it. It needs correct? to be up and down. Needs to be plumb this way. It is. I just measured that. It looks like it's tilted that way just a tad. So I need to pull it towards me, correct? Yes, correct. It moved. That's about as far as I would go before checking it. Whole 
Lee God. Oh my God, exactly what I said. That's when I told him to stop and it was perfect. That's the end of the video. On the next video, we'll do the other side. I basically need to bend that tab down to meet it. We'll just put a little bend on it and decide how far back to go with this part. Yeah, the bend only determines how far back it goes. So bend, bend it whatever first. we think looks good. Look at it, which way does it bend? This part goes down. So you're gonna be pulling towards you again. I would say about 25 to 30 degrees. 12, 13, 14, 15 ish. I mean, that's getting close. Yeah, there we go. This one seems like it should go on this side. All right, so that's this side. We made this side. All right, so look. Yeah, that's pretty close. This is what I have kind of fabricated up. That'll support each side. I'm just gonna weld all this together. With that together, we'll set up the link between that and the rear, and then we put the steering in, and basically, a lot more to go. This seat's gonna have to go because we're too fat. Our legs are too long. Our legs are too long. Basically, we're gonna be sitting like this. Also, this is gonna end up having to go too. We will hopefully preserve the windshield. And the backrest. And the back. We definitely know we need to get rid of this back cavity right here. Because that's where this thing is gonna go. And then probably the whole floor. This is why I'm not cleaning it yet. <laughs> I would cut that whole little oh, thing. Eat it. This thing, it's hard to tell, but it's extremely gross. And there's a lot of bugs and things in there. What do you want to cut it with? A uh, herring. I don't use my reciprocating saw very much, apparently. You got the whole kitten caboodle. Meow. Because I said kitten. See if this battery's dead. I think that'll cut it. Oh, yeah. And there's also this. The Irwin! I love this all. Irwin's back. Ta-da! Oh, sh the wheels! Yes! Now we need the front steering gone, but we need some of it because it's got to... I'm yelling. We need some of it because it's got to support this bumper. These clips seem to hold it on. Oh, hold on. No, don't clean it! I can't help it. It's gross. Take those off and see what comes off. These two? All right, it's definitely loose. Got it. All right, still held on by something. Oh, here we go. Front screws. Now it should just come right off. I said it should just come right off. Oh, there it goes. This is together. This is our front forks mock-up. Oh. I have the drift trike frame just kind of sitting there. I think the tire should go backwards just a little bit. That'll do two things. A, our back is gonna be right up against here. So that'll keep us from sitting behind the wheels. We're gonna probably scoot them back to have the center be like right here. So we'll just have to cut that. So now I can measure wheelbase. Current wheelbase. 28 inches. We're gonna push this back. Let's just set it exactly where you want it to be. And then this will be in the arch. So it'll look good. And it'll be safe, not safer. We'll be more likely to fit. That is our wheelbase. Let's measure and then I will start chopping broccoli. Chopping broccoli. 33 inches is our wheelbase. All right, look at me. 33. That's all. So I set this up without the frame, same measurements. For the wheelbase to be 33 inches, I need to cut two beams. That's a 22 inches. Have the frame together. That is where those little poles are gonna attach. I already ground off the paint in that area from when I was chopping it off the drift try. Oh my God, I'm falling back. <laughs> my little Amber Heard seat didn't hold me. I am gonna do a little gusset from here to here. That way I can have two welds. It is now connected. It needs, it needs to be smoothed a little bit. It's a tiny go-kart. Oh, you got the steering thing attached. So I attached this, but it's just floating right now. What if I just take one of these and like, triangle it right there like right underneath the center of there and then i just do a little blob of something so the u-bolts can go straight down right there Ta-da! that's gonna be pretty straight up like that mm. it's a tiny little car it's a wee lad we have a frame it's beautiful so now we got to fit this on top of it we need to get this dash area off so we can see more underneath there so let me zip that off real quick
It didn't get any cleaner. We need a hoist. It doesn't fit, which we knew about. I am missing my line. If you go slow with that other thing, it's really easy. All right. <laughs> the wheels will probably rub a little bit. It might need to be up a little higher. Yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, that looks fine. That's how the front will end up being. It's not even touching this one. <laughs> Amber! That's there. just right. Alright, next. Next song. <laughs> <laughs> Were you pointing where I was supposed to be looking? Yes. Do I still look at a stupid spot? Yes, way up here. All right, audience, you don't have center seats. You didn't pay for a premium channel. You don't get premium seats. You're off to the side a little bit. Who are you looking at now? The premium the channel. <laughs> There's somebody there. Oh, it's me. You need to cut the hole for the steering shaft. All right, Amber. <laughs> this is not gonna work. What is going on here? I should have cut more. Cut more need. what? It's like bumping into that. Because we also need to get our feet up for the. Ooh, that's gonna be tight. That's why I think I think this has got to go. Unless we just want to have our knees sticking comically way out. We just want the the uh, little window shield frame, right? Yeah. I don't really care about any of the rest of it. I need that screw right. down there. So we'll come around like that. Come up here. That's it. Why is it not off? Oh, there's some supports on the inside. Is that connected? That is a fair amount of space in there, actually. And we're still gonna look like idiots. That was the whole point. Unless we make it cool. So tomorrow, fabricate the two by four frame that goes right there. Attach the front there. I think we just need to open all that up. We've been fabricating this morning. We have this, if you remember, from roughly seconds ago. This was stolen from the drift trike, and we think it's gonna end up being the top part. Oh, it doesn't work for that oh, fudge. It will once we cut some protrusions off of it. I made a chunk of metal, so what we need to figure out, that's Canadian for out, is where the steering wheel is gonna go. So I need a column that comes up to grab this. I think it just can go like that. What in the snake? Ah, snake. Snake. And then we'll have one that comes up and then one that comes out to grab this. Pulling down with my hand to follow the line and then once I go back here, it just follows the cut. Don't want sparks from the welding. We created a fabrication. We fabrication and creation. And we're creative. I welded two blobs onto an angle blob, and that holds that. Oh, don't fall. It's not gonna work. It is lifted. Is this gonna fall? It doesn't look super duper stable. What's in your hand? Here. Okay, we've got to do two things. Figure out how long to cut it, and then get the angle. The angle should go first. Where does it look like it should start bending down? Right about there? It needs to line up with that. Now we just gotta figure out how to bend a triangle mathematically. Oh yeah, good. Good, good, good. How much to bend though? That is the question. So then I'll just have to weld like a little reinforcement piece in between there. This needs to be where? There, I think right there. Bend it. That's not gonna happen. I don't see while I'm holding the camera. Did I get it? I've got this thing near ready for a test drive. Dude, this thing is gonna turn pretty sharp. I need a place for the um, foot pedals. I have not decided how I'm gonna do the brake yet. I need a floor for this stuff to sit on and I'm gonna make that out of 
diamond plating. I use this stuff specifically because one of the guys from Grind Hard Plumbing says he hates it. No, I'm just kidding. I got one four by eight sheet for free. So whenever you see it in my projects, it's coming from that. All right, now I'm just gonna mark where this is in the center. See how this fits. Look how ridiculous things are going to look. <laughs> uh, let's see. To here. I got the pedal on. I got this little block attached. Uh, it's just got two screws coming up. Now I need to attach this. We are getting very close to being able to test drive. That goes there. I gotta get this a little flatter or this is never gonna sit right. I'm talking about this little lip. With this here, it's never gonna sit down. I know it provides support for this area, but I don't care because, why don't I care? I don't care because it's gonna be sitting on that wood and attach the wood. And wouldn't you know, that'll give support. Let's see if that sits how I want it to. Oh, my lovely jubbly. So that is where that is going. Sharpie. I'm just gonna attach this with two bolts, one on either side, and I'm gonna drill down pretty deep right there. So, and then they have just the bolts recessed. It sticks out that far, which is not quite enough. Perfect. in on both sides. Who would have thought I could actually do that? I just cut this little square piece of wood out of some poplar I had. I'm gonna countersink a couple screw heads and pre-drill some holes. Make sure I'm getting wood all the way through with a little stripey of pink. I about have this ready for a test drive. I gotta put all that stuff back into the back compartment. But I had to rework some of the steering. Let me show you. First of all, this was super floppy. Uh, still a little floppy, but it's not near as floppy as it was. I was gonna do a brace from here to there, but I wanted this. So I did a brace from here to here, and then I made this little platform, and that's what that bolts onto. It's much stiffer now, it'll be fine, especially for how much power this thing's gonna have. So let's put all this junk inside of the trunk. Keys for power, three-way switch for three-way speed. Battery goes in the center. All right, make sure this doesn't explode. I just want to prop this up and see if it's actually gonna, Jesus Christ. Let's see if it actually spins. Turn it on. Yeah, man, that's it. impressions it doesn't turn very good i'm gonna have to figure out a way to make it one wheel drive in the back second i can feel the flame frame uh flexing a little bit so i'm gonna have to gusset that up but let's see if you children can drive it see if we improve the power wheel for you oh don't forget it doesn't have brakes it doesn't turn very well that's it's doing all right for her because she's not fat. There's no brakes! Ah! Alright, spin around. It turns okay for you, doesn't it? Alright. There's a car. Off-road test. See if you can drive up that hill. Something like pop. 
Just hit the gas. What power wheel could drive up this hill? Where are you going? Go forward. Be, be careful, don't stand on it. First test drive. We only had one catastrophic failure, which is right there. That was fairly predictable. And then the other catastrophic failure, if this thing had one wheel, so basically get rid of the live rear axle, it would have a really good turning radius. I clearly need a one wheel drive in the back. The issue though, is this thing is very custom made for this. I'm gonna see if the wheel from the Skippy Rock Mario Kart thing will fit. So that's this. I can already tell it's not going to. That was really my only hope. Dang, that's gonna make it way more complicated. Ooh! All right, on first test drive, the weld right there failed. I have now fixed that. I put this gusset right there and one over yonder. I mean, you can beat the crap out of this and it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fail. Also, this part sticks out a little in front of this part. I welded this area first and then I was able to hammer that area flat to weld that and it didn't break up there. So I think that's a good sign. We want to add a free spinning rear wheel so it's only one wheel drive. The problem with that is this axle is made just to fit these little guys like this. So I ordered a free spinning axle for like a front wheel, but of course the, the bearings that were in here didn't fit on that. So I hammered the bearings out and I ordered these bearings. These bearings fit over here, but don't fit over the spline. So I want to grind these down or lay them down basically so that'll slip over that. I'm gonna just hold a little file to this and spin that wheel and see if that'll get it down. After that, I will have to modify this because that's too wide. So I'll need to cut it down to be shorter like this one and then press in a bearing. I'll do one on each side, one on the front and one on the back, and that should work. All right, let go. That's definitely taking it over there. Ah, ha, ha. Perfect. Okay. All right. As long as I can get the car to pin through. Yeah, I can. All right. Mark two test. Is it already turned on? We have reinforced struts. Flip the key, see what happens. Reinforced struts, one wheel drive, so it should turn. Just go easy. See if you can navigate out. Oh yeah, it turns, doesn't it? All right, now just gun it out that way. It still doesn't have brakes. Watch for car. Hold on, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Well, you can quit going. All right, just kind of take off and do a big loop real quick. Yes, there we go. Do a donut, keep going in circles. See if we can go up and around that hill. Just go up around that tree. All right, now see if you can get up there. Go. Oh, all right.
on version two. This broke. I kind of hoped that the front point of contact would be enough to keep that from happening. So I'm gonna have to do a little triangle right there and right there. Wow, the one wheel drive helped it turn a lot better. It did keep it from making it up the grass hill. I need a locking differential. And we'll take it back apart, see what we can do to improve it. All right, I made some good progress with the um, problems. Well, really with one problem, which was the braking. But I ended up ordering like, it's like a motorcycle brake. And I made a little cone that's gonna stick up right there. And you'll basically be able to pull up on this like it's a um, emergency brake. I'm about to weld the, the uh, back caliper bracket into place. So I put the caliper right where I wanted it and locked it into place. That actually has a little lock. So it's got a parking brake with a lock. These little toothpicks are just to space it so the spring isn't sitting right on the rotor. I made a bracket from here to here that screwed it. This is this bracket right there is screwed into the caliper and I have it where I want it. So what I'm gonna do, I cut two little pieces of metal. This one will fit right there. This one isn't 100% done yet. There's some fine tuning I have to do, but it's basically gonna go down there. With all this clamp together, I will tack all this together. I'll tack the top one together first, then I'll finalize and tack the bottom one. And then I can take off some stuff and really weld it and sand it all together. Then hopefully we can drive it out into the road without fear of being run over by traffic. All right, that's it together. That little handle is just on a, on that little pole right there. And it comes over. And there's a little top piece. There's the bracket to this is on there. And that worked. I don't know why with my other go-kart projects, I didn't think about clamping the caliper onto the disc brake and then using that to position the mount. I mean, that kind of seems obvious now. So you're driving along. Oh, look at that. I have everything welded on here that I'm gonna weld on here. The bracket for the rear caliper, the handle for the lever, this brace for the steering column, and I painted it all black. Probably by the time I get this all together, cameraman's on his way, and we'll see what he came up with for the final design and give it a test drive. All right, motor in first. Daniel was tasked with doing the final design on this. Let's see what he came up with. Check it out. Daniel here. I've been tasked with updating the style for this mini Barbie cart. My only instructions were, quote, go crazy with it. I don't care. My first thought was a 100% accurate recreation of the classic Jurassic Park Jeep. Obviously more accurate than this drawing that I made. We'll just get it right on the final. This is the Jeep Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler were riding when they first see their brachiosaurus. Alan clumsily grabs Ellie's head to get her to look at the dinosaurs. Then I thought, hey, what if we did camo? But it might be too easy to lose this cool ride in the brush. So my next thought was, why not just keep the Barbie theme and just update the colors with even hotter pink? Then I thought, why not let's go patriotic? And what's more patriotic than a fully functional gun turret and additional mini American flags all over? Plus McDonald's. But then I remembered what Jason told me go crazy with it, I don't care. And I thought, this just isn't crazy enough. I need to think outside the box. Why don't we ditch the go-kart undercarriage entirely and mount the whole thing on a giant mechanical worm structure? Then we could take it on virtually any terrain. I think we have our design. Wow, that would be amazing. But what about something like this? It took me like four hours to draw that. I didn't put this on very good. <laughs> oh, it comes off. I didn't want to cover up Barbie. You've pretty much had it in the right spot anyways. 
I still think we should do the Mecha Caterpillar later in another future project, but we'll probably have to program the pieces to work together somehow. We'll, and we'll need to make like 10 of them. Yeah, the pieces are Mecha Caterpillar. The thorax segments. Well, if you figure that out. Note to self, never do cricket. No, listen, it's the it's the glittery thing. The non-glitter ones work way easier than this. But they're less fabulous? Correct. It seems like glitter would make it stick less. The joke is he was gonna slap it on and peel it off in like one second. Yeah. But it turned out to be actually more effort. We could have made the Met Caterpillar. Oh yeah! And banana peel! I like it. Your neighborhood doesn't care about that, do they? We did a bunch over here and it's all gone away as soon as it rained. Power slide. I don't know what this thing's capable of. Oh, I got I forgot the brake. Brakes on the hand. The brake actually works really well. Oh, my ears! Here, yeah, you try it. Oh Jesus! He's right there! I'll kill him though. Let's see about downhill. Oh. Oh. I didn't expect you to be so close! <laughs> Oh, Are you All still right. back there? Well, that was it. First test, reverse. I hope it works, because I'm standing right in front of you. Corey. On a Segway, no less. Oh, fudge. Uh, I can't see backwards, because I don't have a backup camera. You'll have to use your, uh, forget, what's it called? Neck. Car. Oh, Jesus. Did you stop it? No, I just zoomed in. <gasps> All right, next video. I need to get the steering wheel working on the uh, purple Waluigi card, and then we should race them. I get the bigger one because I know it'll win. <laughs> we need to set up like a, a Mario Kart style course where we can race and maybe that one, yeah, we'll have faster straightaways, but this one is like... Or oh, nimble? No, yeah. And it's barbier. It is a beautiful design. I do have, I haven't revealed this to you guys yet, a scooter that's from like the 90s. It's an electric scooter from the 90s. It almost looks like, you know those uh, rascals the old people drive? Yeah. It really looks a lot like one of those, except it's two wheels. It can go about 20, but we need to make it so it can go faster. Like, it needs to go 35. And actually, I think I can make that look like Scooty Puff Jr. Or Mr. Scooty from uh, Mario Kart. The Mr. Scooty probably be better. Because the Scooty Puff Jr. Those are equally good designs. But the Scooty Puff is yellow versus the Mr. Scooty is blue. And we like the blue better? Yeah, somebody's coming. Because the scooter I have is blue. Can't talk, film, and segue all at the same time. This thing doesn't have any shocks. Ah! That was a very slow almost flip over. Yeah! This 
thing's definitely pretty nimble. You need the, uh, not the Wario laugh, you need like the, the peach scream. Yeah. What sound does the shy guy make? All right, let's talk about that. I switched this from a live rear, rear axle, which means both wheels spin, to one wheel drive. And when I did that, it can turn a lot easier, but it, it does get stuck in the grass if you try to just go straight up the There's grass. There's one hill. sharp edge right here that just really goes into my leg. Unless I hold my leg like this. Well, that's good. Then that way your knees can take any impact. Ow. It's freaking bang. I thought you said if you did that, it wouldn't hurt. It didn't help. Where is it? Like I hit it worse. Corner that corner? Right. Yeah. My well, I look, my even line goes around it like I wanted to cut it away. Yeah. We clearly had some foresight that this corner was going to be a problem. I think some of these pink flakes of plastic are in my knee now. That's good. When you die in a fiery Hold track. that thought. The smell of the rubber just catches up with you when you stop. <laughs> I'll wait here. They, hold on, they don't live here. They're gonna just spin around. They're a spinner. Yep. There's like six houses down on these cul-de-sac. I know every single house. I feel like you get probably 20 to 30 spinners a day. Hello! Oh wow, you're gonna go for it. Park it to the left. Will it fit to the left? Oh, so you're just done. But what about this? What about what? What do you mean you're not gonna go with my design? <laughs> I'm just giving a slightly second opinion to the design. This wasn't quite ready. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Luckily, to the magic of editing. You know, I think we could have made the Mecha Caterpillar in the time it's taken you to, um, to take off this decal.